Hi, Gemini. This is your reading, and I wanted to wish you a happy birthday. I have the Six of Pentacles, which often for me can represent something legal, too. See, the, the scales. Okay. And it's also June. The Ten of Cups, which I, you know, the Tens for me, when they're in reverse, it's like they're still uh, something that's not been resolved, I feel. The Nine of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the Eight of Wands, see? I feel like um, once you release this, Things are going to flow. And I feel like how we go from a nine to an eight, you may have to go backwards in order to go forward. And look at what's underneath the deck. The Empress. So, okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this card. And, oh wow, this was the next card. Let me do it this way. Because that is my Gemini card for me personally. It can represent the other signs, Aquarius and Libra. But I feel uh, it usually comes across as Gemini to me. Okay, so let me make sure you can see everything. Okay, so we have... Uh, two sixes in here also that I just noticed. There's something, uh, I feel like there's some kind of power struggle going on. And now it can definitely be in love and in a relationship. There may be legal arguments. I do want to say that I do feel uh, there's possibly this can be you because you're an air sign, obviously. Um, but it can also be another air sign or the quality of the... Um, well, I, it, it's, it could be the air aspect within you which or within somebody else, but I also feel that it's representative of lack of communication and... Um, I'm getting that there's um, an imbalance going on. And it may be an imbalance in power. And I do feel like it is possibly between two people or possibly three. Because we do have the Empress here, which is the number three. But remember, this was the card that was underneath. So I really feel like this is a growth cycle for you through the rest of June and it may even go out longer. Me, I'm feeling even go out to August um, or to October, November because I am picking up that the sign of Taurus in addition to the air signs may be important. I still feel that there is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and also Libra. And so there may be something legal going on. Now, one of the issues that I'm getting is I feel like somebody is being, or they're feeling, and this may be you, as if you're being um, treated unfairly or unjustly, or maybe somebody is not being that generous. Maybe you're the one that's been giving, 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 and trying, you know, like you're the one that feels like you're always having to put in the work or the, you know, to make things harmonious within the family. And this could be, because it's in reverse also, this, this could come across as somebody that feels like family, not necessarily direct family, but they feel like a family member. So it could be a friend. Uh, it could also be distant relatives, but this is also can be very much your immediate family and things that are unresolved, um, especially here in the reverse position. Like there is um, values are not in a line or somebody is hanging on to something. 
Like they can't let go of somebody possibly betraying them or the way they treated them. And I am getting, I'm seeing this honestly as mother and daughter. Maybe it's a mother, grandmother. Now it could also be males. So I don't want to just stick to the female, but you know, it is the Empress and the Queen of Swords, but you know, they're interchangeable. Um, especially this male or female. Um, but I feel like somebody is, because this is our underlying theme, this is very much, uh, I think by looking at things, uh, getting in touch with, you know, like I feel like the more harmonious you feel within yourself, Mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually, the more harmonious you will feel with others. And let me just look here. But I just get that somebody I feel is either not really good at maintaining boundaries. So this may not be you, but this is somebody around you. I just feel like they just can't let go. And I just feel like somebody is trying to win something at almost any cost. Now, this can be definitely positive and it can be negative. But I, I get that, um, I think that someone's ego or is getting in the way, there's some somebody's feeling lack of support but it's really interesting because these cards are minor arcanas which means that to some degree this energy can be uh, dealt with or turned around but it's going to take it's most likely probably going to take you to kind of turn this around or for you to start communicating um, or to start seeing things from a whole different point of view, a different perspective, um, facing the truth about another person, facing the truth about yourself. But I just get that there's there's lack of, um, feel like someone's just feeling like they're not being appreciated or not being celebrated in the way that they would like to be. But I do want to say this, I do feel, and especially with this here, that what has been blocked can be unblocked. I think grounding is going to be important. I also get something about, I feel like Getting, well, getting out in nature, being grounded, getting outside, gardening, doing things that, um, it's like giving back, you know, to the universe when you garden or, or, you know, get out in nature. And it's, it's very positive for you and, and for those around you. And I feel like, then things are going to start moving and they're going to start moving fast in a more positive direction, especially with this eight of wands here. Um, this is very quick, like a swift change, a swift, you know, lots of movement. This may be indicative of travel. Some of you may be traveling all of a sudden in, in June at the very last minute. And so where there was uh, possibly... Um, you weren't sure if you were going to go on a trip. I feel like some of you will. But this is also a change in you. And there's something I feel that may be off balance in someone's system. So uh, uh, let me see. I think um, one of the things I'm getting is like sinuses. I feel like somebody may have some allergies that maybe you're not aware of. And so that could be affecting your body. I feel like there's going to be knowledge that's going to be gained if you're open to it. If you're shut down like this and uh, not wanting to see the truth or to 
find out, you know, and do some digging and figure out what it is. I'm getting like, uh, there could be something about smoke or fog or smog or something in the environment and somebody maybe has become allergic where maybe they weren't allergic before but they are now uh, there's something also I feel like you know if you're not feeling well definitely go see the doctor if the if the medication that the doctor is giving you is not helping you you know with your sinuses or giving you headaches or migraines or you're feeling a bit dizzy or you know discuss that with your doctor because there may be some adjustment in medication or in vitamins or in something that i think um by the end of june or by the end of august you most likely will start feeling better now, I do feel that some of you may be meeting somebody in love romantically if you are open to it. If you're not open to it and you're not, and you're shut down like this, uh, you know, or, and it may also be because this could also be um, somebody's been very harsh towards you. They can be very critical. This could be you being this way towards yourself. I don't feel like it's, it could be that you maybe have given somebody a few words and maybe it was, um, you felt that it was deserved and it shut down communication because they've never admitted or, you know, there's still things, like I said at the beginning of the reading from the past that have not been resolved. And so you've shut down. But, uh, okay, now I lost my train of thought. Um, something about, oh, but oh, about love. If you're open to it, there may be something that either legally has to get resolved so that you feel comfortable in allowing love in, or you're having a difficult time making a decision, or you're being very hard on yourself, you're, you're self-critic. You know, when people criticize and judge other people, I always feel like those people are the harshest critics on themselves. So be careful of um, being overprotective or, you know, to the point that you are in hiding, that you aren't getting out there, that you're not moving forward or... And maybe it's because you feel unsupported, as I said earlier. But there's an opportunity for growth here and for changes to happen. And so you may be waiting for this get to get resolved. And there may be legal paperwork. It could be regarding like an estate or land or a home. So maybe um, you're waiting for a signature from somebody, for somebody to sign off on something. For, you know, you're, you feel like you're, you've gotten an offer. I'm getting a low ball offer on a home. Somebody may be considering selling their property or their house and where there's been lack of movement or, you know, the money is, you know, somebody's been, you know, they put in an offer, but it was way low. Or you're deciding on what to do. Do I move? Am I going to move? Am I going to sell my house? Do I belong here? Do I feel like I'm in a prison of some kind within my home or within my circumstances? And how do I move and set myself free? How do I get myself out of this situation or not allow somebody who could be the opposite where they're acting like this, like you're feeling like, they're coming over your boundaries and you're trying to find your way out of this so that you can move either physically or mentally and emotionally and create something new. And then I feel like things start flowing. So it could be, you know, for some of you, it could be by the end of August that, that this comes to fruition. It's going to take a little bit longer than by the end of June. You know, it's going to be different for people for whom, whom these messages even apply. But there's definitely, I feel like somebody is dealing with someone with mood swings. 
Um, and it may be from something that they've been holding in. It may be something physical. It may be something um, like they're reacting to some, you know, vitamin or uh, uh, medication that they're taking that you've noticed a change. But I feel like once it's addressed, it, it, it can change or that you're going to be moving away from this and letting this kind of, you know, uh, negativity um, and, and not hanging on. It's like you're fighting your own fight, your own battles, but you won't be hanging on to uh, the negative aspect of it. You will be feeling more freedom and moving forward, setting free. So let me just see um, what this, and this definitely can be in love, I will say this. So, you know, should I stay or should I go? I just heard that song, should I stay or should I go now? So let's just see what other, okay, that card flipped sideways. Let's see what that is. Express your individuality. Allow your true self to shine because you are awesome. So I feel this is very important um, to be your authentic self, your true self. Express how you feel. Communicate how you feel. You know, don't get to the point where, you know, this is like you're hiding. You know, you don't want to be seen or heard. So maybe there is something that you're hiding But I think that the more you, the less self-critical you are, the more expressive you are. This has to also do with harmony, balance, creativity, um, movement. I feel like somebody has really kind of been almost like the hermit to me or sedated. Like somebody's been sedated to the point that they aren't moving or way close. And it's time for you to be who you are and honor that. Look, I'm even, I'm seeing this. I don't know why, but I am seeing it like as a birthday cake. So express yourself. You know, I remember us talking about seeking your inner truth or seeking the truth of who you are. And here you're not. So be creative. Um, don't hold also not hide who you are and embrace who you are. And a lot of growth is coming in in this next year, I feel for you. A lot of swift movement and changes if you allow it to. And I feel like there are people around you that are wanting to help you or be supportive and maybe you're not allowing them is. And letting go of the past and things that maybe you did in the past that you're not forgiving yourself from. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful birthday and celebrating you. All right. Bye, Gemini.